is Megan here for another science video. So this week we are going to be doing something called a rainbow paper towel. Okay, so here are some of the materials you're going to need. First thing you're going to need are two glasses. They can be any size. You're also going to need water. You're going to need a sheet of paper towel and markers. Now, I did a rainbow, but you can do whatever colors you'd like. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step that I did was I took my glasses and I filled them with equal amounts of water. I filled them almost to the top. They're, they're about, about an inch shy of the top. But again, any size glasses would work. Just make sure that they have water in them. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel and you're going to design whatever you'd like on the edges only. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. I already made one here. So I said rainbow. So I made the rainbow on two sides of the paper towel. Now there's a reason why I didn't color in the whole paper towel. Okay, so this is when your hypothesis is going to come in handy. So my materials are this colored piece of paper towel, but not all the way colored, and two glasses of water. Now let me explain what the step is going to be. I'm going to take this paper towel and I'm going to be putting it in the glasses of water on each side. Then the hypothesis is going to be what's going to happen to the paper towel or the water once I do this. So here we go. I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to stick it in one side of the water and the other side of the water. Make it kind of look like a rainbow. All right, friends, let's make some observations. What's happening so far? So one thing that I see happening already is definitely the marker has gone into the water, has actually dyed the water. I got some on my hands too, that's okay. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to leave this in here and I'm going to set a timer. And I'm going to set it for about 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, I'm going to come back and check and see what's happening. So I want you guys to watch very closely as to see what's going to happen to your paper towel. Make your hypothesis. All right, everybody. Let's check it out. I hope you've been doing this. I did it for almost 15 full minutes. All right. And let's check out and see what is happening here. So what did you guys notice? I know I didn't really come up with a hypothesis for you because I didn't want to give it away. So let's see real quick, what do you think was going to happen? So I thought to myself, yeah, if you're putting some marker in water, the water is going to change color. So yes, of course that happened. But something that I didn't think about was, oh look, the water has actually gone down. The paper towel looks like it's absorbed some of the water. Now I'm going to teach you one word or two words and then I'm going to explain this a little bit more. So let's just check this out real quick. Ready? Check it out. So it did, in fact, make a rainbow. And here's the word that I'm going to teach you. This is what we're going to talk about, and I'm going to explain it real quick. That says capillary action. I know, it's a big word. But simply what it means is... Instead of water, like when we pour water in a cup, it normally goes down. But with capillary action, what's happening is it's pulling the water and the marker that we had on the two sides up towards the middle. So that's really cool. That's actually lifting up the water and the marker particles, okay, the molecules, up through the paper towel. And it met almost right in the middle. I'm going to hold it up real quick so you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go. So yeah, there's really not any more marker on the sides where I put it in, but look. It all came in the middle. That was white before. It's almost turned tie-dye. Pretty cool, huh? I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Pretty cool, huh? I hope everybody is staying safe and happy, and I'll see you guys next time.